My name is Brian Call, and I'm from Alma, and I'm a singer by trade, if you like. Uh, that, that's what we're getting on to 20 years now. It's been good to me, the band business, and the thing that keeps me in it there is because I like singing, first and foremost, but I like meeting people, and that's my main interest. Johnny was an old friend of mine, you know. Oh, uh, you know, and so was your father. Uh, that's your right. father, the bowman was Joiner. That's right. That's great. Uh, well, you're doing, you're, you're looking well anyway. I started off in the Polka Dots band back in 1960, and stayed there for about a year. I left it for a short time, joined another band called the Platters, who were a very professional band at the time. Uh, we did a lot more work, but a lot less mileage. And the music scene kept changing, and the rural parts of the country had what I like to call country and western music, country music, it's called nowadays. And it was becoming very popular, and of course I had a natural liking for it. So I hopped it out and formed my own band called the Buckaroos. And we've had a lot of success since then. Well, a working relationship in a band is vital, really, because without it, you see, it's hurdles all the time. And it never ends, you know, there's jumps and they get higher. But if you've got this basic thing you're flying, there's really nothing that you can't achieve in the business. Because if they're all pulling together, it's like a triple war team. Just one lies down or is not pulling his weight, where the team's in trouble. Always looking for the combination of colours with a nice, even personality that can cope and a fair amount of musical ability. And uh, this is what you're searching and looking for all the time. So I don't think any band has it. Some bands that are very successful today, in fact, and who are not yet known too well, but because they're doing so well financially, they can bear with it, you know. But in the end, it'll break. If you've got the other, you're home and dry. You know? so The boys that I'm with at the minute are a good lot. <laughs> I've got a very, very tight band, which is really needed to push any type of music. And more so in a country band, I find it is a guy that keeps a steady beat from the band kicks off until the band finishes, because the name of the game is dancing. You're the only thing that stands between me and lonely Funny over the years, the trends have come and went. When I started, of course, the rock and roll thing was very big. But country was there, and the rock and roll thing faded a bit, and then you had the jazz band, and they sort of faded away. Then you had the flower period, the Stones, the Beatles, and all the time country was getting a knock. The Beatles very had done it, had it for six. And it still seemed to come up, like the drowning man for the third time, it keeps just keeps bobbing up. Like the cork and water, it's up there all the time, trying. 
Again, it's a nice position to be in. I mean, there's a lot of bands only playing two nights a week, and they would like to be playing five nights a week. Well, yeah, of course, do uh, stay all night. But then do three of your own choice after that. That's a total of four, right? Mm. And then I'll come on for the next set with people. I'll tell you the number. All right. That's twelve minutes to ready there. midnight. Uh, okay. Right. Get ready there, Pat. Ready. That's it. That'll do. I'll have another. Uh, If I was to be in a band and was told that from I go on stage until I leave the ballroom that night that I wasn't to speak to anyone, well, regardless of what I might be getting, I couldn't stay in a band like that. The only problem I found after years at it, that I got to know too many people too well. And when you go play in a certain area, that they expect that half hour of your time after the dance, and they don't want you sort of moving around, they want to talk, shop. Uh, I found this uh, a problem. But uh, all in all, that's a big additive to be able to pass your shop, uh, either in a hotel or in the ballroom or on the street, or if it's only a kid or an old woman or whatever. If a guy can't say hello, he's not a good musician in my eyes, it's as simple as that. We continue dancing this time with a quick step. We start off with a number of title track of an LP, our last song by record, a number called Country Fine. Thank you. 